All right, guys, one year of CrossFit in the books. I want to talk to you guys about my CrossFit story, what I think about it so far, my current programming, and my plans for the channel, my plan for doing CrossFit moving forward, man. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, man. New videos every week. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. I'm so excited you guys landed on this video. Roll the intro, let's go ahead and get into the video. So first and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to Indian Hills CrossFit for allowing me, for giving me the opportunity to step foot into a CrossFit gym, get familiar with what it was, the training styles, the community, the overall just growth and just amazingness of this whole CrossFit um, vehicle, CrossFit fitness vehicle to better health, man. Huge shout out to them. And so first and foremost, I started CrossFit about a year and three months ago. I say that kind of iffy because unfortunately due, due to the current circumstances, my gym had to shut down. And as you guys can tell, I've kind of scrambled to set up a home gym. Honestly, I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to have this home gym set up because I literally do all the workouts just like normal. Obviously, some exercises I substitute them for, for the most part. I'm rocking and rolling with this setup, man. I can actually do the workouts. I'm on the program in that Indian Hills CrossFit is still running. Unfortunately, the, the facility shut down, but the community is still alive and well, man. We do community workouts every Saturday as well as uh, staying on top of each other with our workouts, logging our scores and stuff, staying competitive, man. So that's super awesome. How I got into it was I started doing functional fitness and I kind of wanted more of the competitive side of things. I wanted to do the whole, full CrossFit. Um, and that's kind of why I started functional fitness so I can kind of ease into CrossFit. Once I got to CrossFit, it was a whole lot easier of a transition. I was very familiar with a lot of movements, let's say power cleans. If you guys go back through my Instagram to way back in the day when I used to live in San Diego, you can see me doing power cleans, overhead squats, rowing, assault bike, all those sorts of things, but in more of a bodybuilding-esque fashion. I wouldn't do them like the full CrossFit style. I would do break them up into like sets and reps. Just more of a bodybuilding style scheme, but with functional fitness movements. When I moved back to my hometown, which is Central California in the mountains, I basically just went full blown into the CrossFit gym. I was doing bodybuilding workouts early in the morning, like right around 5 a.m. And I'd go to my CrossFit class right around 9.30 a.m. And then finally I was like, hey, I just want to get better at CrossFit. And having the bodybuilding session is just a little too much for me so i cut out the bodybuilding session i do crossfit maybe five six days a week and then i do one bodybuilding session and just kind of went from there eventually i was just only crossfit and just loving it because I, after the class i could incorporate accessory work i could say like more pull-ups strict pull-ups curls like different things like that especially on like a open gym day during the week i still incorporated it so it was a lot of fun and I kind of just went full blown into it and this community, man, it just kind of opened me or they welcomed me with open arms and I really loved that. The huge thing that really stuck out to me was the community aspect of it. I've never really been a part of a fitness community like the CrossFit community was. And it was just welcoming open arms. Everyone welcomed progression, welcomed hard work and stuck in and just pain. And everyone just embraced it and it, that's what it was about. Anytime someone PR'd, you'd hear loud cheers and it was just awesome, man. Everyone's about their gains. Everyone in there is going hard. And just a lot of people that you look in there are sneaky fit, man. So that just, I just loved that a lot. Another thing, something that was new to me was the coaching and class setting. I hated someone talking, or I didn't hate it, but I wasn't used to someone telling me what to do, guiding me through the workout, the class setting. It was just so weird. I was used to literally just isolating myself, headphones on, and just going. There's a place and time for that, but the CrossFit gym definitely welcomed to more of the hands-on class coaching fixing stuff and I really needed it when I first started CrossFit. So being about a year in now, let's say maybe a year and three to four months in now, since my CrossFit gym closed down, I just kind of continued CrossFit, but just in my garage, you can call it CrossFit, functional fitness, whatever you guys want to call it, still continuing it. From here on forward, I'm going to be training out of my garage, my backyard, or my buddy's garage gym, as you guys have seen in past videos. If you haven't, go check those out. 
Um, I believe one of the videos is called How I Got Into Functional Fitness. Um, that one you'll see my other buddy's gym setup that he has going on in his garage. I recently came up on a rack, an assault bike, a barbell, and some bumper plates, man. So it's literally just everything I need. I got some rings here, as you guys can tell. I got a weight vest there. So we literally are slowly adding to the home gym setup, the garage gym setup and just moving forward from here we can honestly do everything with everything that we have here there might be a few substitutions here and there that we need to do but hey that's fine also with the weight i have very limited weights i only have 35 pound bumper plates so it's either get strong or die trying right so it's it, we're gonna get strong from this and obviously dial is technique and technique and form over everything always but you know it's gonna be a little tough with this weight but hey man crave the grind let's get better together Stay tuned for DIY home projects. I'm actually going to be building a plyo box, a wooden plyo box. So I'm going to bring you guys along through the whole journey, show you guys how you guys can make one for your garage setup, and also workouts and different workouts, how you can implement them on that thing. If you guys are looking to get into CrossFit, I hope you guys find this video motivating or kind of inspiring you to actually take the leap and do it. Whether you have a CrossFit gym that's open right now to the public, or you want to kind of start doing it on your own at home, this should be a video to say, hey, you should do it. There's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing to be fear the thing about crossfit is it does seem intimidating just because of the movies and the elite athletes but honestly like everyone and their grandma has had a crossfit gym or does crossfit workouts and they're just high intensity workouts and a lot of the time it's literally just a mental battle of hey let's finish and i i feel like for you that's thinking about it or if you click on this video you're most likely already doing crossfit or you kind of want to get into it it should just be a hey i can do this too if i can do it guys you guys can do it just set your mind to it just commit and just do it honestly my biggest pointer to you is just embrace the pain embrace the suck and just keep moving before you know it the workout's going to be over you're going to feel great physically you're going to feel great mentally you're going to feel confident and you're just going to be ready for another workout man i hope this video inspires you guys to get out there and get active it doesn't have to be crossfit or functional fitness but if it is man drop it in the comments to let me know that you guys got into crossfit because of me go over to instagram follow me there shoot me dms if you guys have any questions throw them in the comments throw them in the dms man i'd love to just engage with you guys and just build out this community that we're doing here man i'm so pumped at this moment i have 170 subscribers and i'm so thankful and just pumped for each and every one of you guys we're growing this family this community together man and just this functional fitness crossfit community that's just getting stronger and better together so go ahead drop a comment man drop a like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos posting two videos a week maybe more if you guys are good with the views and the likes we might be uploading more who knows but stick around man we got some diys coming up some recipes we got some workouts some tutorials man and just some motivational stuff man just kind of you know just getting real just kind of talking from heart to heart for me to you guys here and yeah man i hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna wrap it up here breakfast club ctg we out this beat